Welcome back to another video. Good to see you all again today. Well, got a quick one for you today. We're gonna get straight into it. Let's hit that intro. Let's talk about R6 focus stacking, or yeah, I think that's called focus bracketing for Canon, but yeah, basically like a focus stack automatically done on your camera. Let's go check it out. tech tip this week it's the r6 uh, new feature i've been playing with handheld and as well on a tripod so the galas are coming to say hello we're going to be looking at them shortly it's called focus bracketing or focus stack basically the old days of manually focus stack taking multiple photos and then stitching them afterwards well, with the new cameras, new mirrorless cameras, all the digital tech and wonderful stuff, well, we get some other fun stuff, which is Canon's got a feature called Focus Bracketing. I'm pretty sure that's what they call it in there. I've been playing with it the last couple of days uh, while I've been here at work. You can actually use it handheld, which is cool. Basically, get your camera settings set up, then you come in, you pick how many shots you want to do, and push the button, and then it goes brrr, and it'll use however many needs to make sure that throughout that image, everything should be spot the dog focused. So then you just go and chuck those 20, 30, 50, 100, however many shots you need, depending on the location and what you're doing, into Photoshop and then just align them, focus them, and then bang, you get a crystally sharp image. Pretty handy, I guess, and you've got to get those certain situations. So I'm going to switch around now. We're going to look at the situation I've got here, and then we'll go through it, and I'll show you where to go and find it in the menus, and what to do, and then we'll do, take some photos, and yeah, see what else we can find. There's the R6. Sitting on my little work tripod with me, the three-legged thing, little ball head there. Um, so you can see the spin effects here. So this is what I'm after. I'll talk you through it, then we'll show you on the camera. So spin effects, obviously sharp, and then all these little stages on it. So trying to get that all sharp in one hit is very tricky. And then the main subject matter is this, I think it's a eucalypt or a gum, might be a gum or something. I'm definitely no tree expert. And then you get those little glass up there. So that's pretty cool. So a good little image, but you can see why focus stacking would be pretty good if you wanted to keep all these spin effects in uh, well, in target. So you can see why I'm going to focus stack. So if we go there, 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 to get that in, what the dog sharp is a pretty tricky thing to do. Even with these modern cameras, um, you could do it, and I think you'd probably go pretty close. But why not? If there's an automated feature there that does it for you, well, that just takes one thing out of the occasion. Now I've got it on a tripod, you don't, as I said before, it, you can do it handheld, so you don't need to have it on a tripod. So that, again, makes it really, really useful. Mostly focus stacking, you try and get it there, but because it does it so ridiculously fast, and you'll see what I mean when I do it, it negates that ability to, or that, that necessity for you to have a tripod. So realistically, you'd be walking handheld around and you could come and do a focus stacked image of this. So. The galahs are having a bit of a blue, not happy. Someone has paid the rent, he's been out all night, come home and not told the missus where he's been. <laughs> okay, so let's, I've got the R6 on. So I don't know if we can see all that, I'll take that info out. So you can see the image we've got there, so that's what we're looking at. Gone vertical obviously and then it gives a stretch. 24 mil or a little bit above 24 mil. That's sort of what we're looking for. Rightio, so go into your menu settings. Now, if you, it's in the main camera one, so obviously you want to go to five. If you've got focus bracketing set on page two, I think it is, you need to take that off. So see how that's gray because my automatic settings are over here. In, I've got that on, so I'm just going to turn that off. Right, and I'll come back to five. So focus back in the disable, we're gonna go in and enable that. 
Now, number of shots. So this is how many shots you need. Hundreds a lot, obviously. I just did a test run of, uh, I think, 50 here, and I didn't even use that many. Now, it's not going to take exactly 50. It's going to calculate through the focus spectrum what it needs to do, and then it'll take it. So you just need to allocate yourself enough uh, that you will have enough to get the, the amount of focus you need, if that makes sense. So I've got 50 there, which is tons. Okay, uh, focus increment. So because I've got the spin effects and there's a lot of spin effects, I'm gonna bring this down to narrow. It will use a lot more shots, but when you've got such a lot of, a lot of focus points you wanna really hit and it's a lot of sharp objects, those spin effects are really pointy, so you wanna keep it sharp. Uh, we're gonna take that down to one, and then I'm not using exposure smooth, so we're pretty happy with that. And that's all you have to do. So from there we come out, we're going to, I'll just put, push my focus box down to there. That's locked on. And then, now watch, you have to watch this pretty quick because it will happen very fast. Ready, set. And that's it. Done and dusted. We have 15 shots in there that have been done. So we come back. We get a test shot here so we know we've got a fresh set okay there's my hand okay so we'll try it with the tree this time and then ready <sighs> boom that quick that's all it does so it'll go through take a photo shot and then you'll come through and we'll see how many we've got here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so it took 11 shots so even though we had 50, it's give us, it's, t it's worked out, it's calculated we need 11 shots to get this focus, so that should be pretty good. So I should be able to now take that and put that into Photoshop and get a nice sharp image that covers that whole area. So we'll see from the front all the way up into the tree and the background should all be in focus. So yeah, pretty cool. Focus bracketing from Canon. Uh, look, another another good feature, something to use. Uh, the more more you use your camera, the better it is. And again, I'll put in. I did some focus stacking or focus bracketing, whatever you want to call it, with the R6 by hand uh, yesterday when I was walking around. And uh, yeah, it did a really good job. I was pretty impressed. Uh, just handheld, what you could do, just sit there and just go, brrr, and it'd fire off five or six shots. Uh, usual speeds, normal speeds like you would when you're shooting to keep the blur minimised, so uh, 125th, 250th of a second, and you should be pretty good. What more could you want? Beautiful morning out here in the Pilbara, out testing the R6, so a great little one for you to try out next time you're out and about and you've got your camera. Uh, you, the only caveat to the whole program is there's certain lenses that allow you to do it. Now the good thing is the 24 to 105, the STM version, that's the lens I've just, or I've got now for sale on eBay that is uh, getting replaced by this F4 version. They both do it. See if I can get a link and I'll whack it down below for you to see what lenses you can use this feature with. And there is some EF lenses in there too. So if you have got EF, don't despair just yet. There's a fair chance you might have, there'll be something there that you can use and go and test this out and then have a play and start using it. Uh, why not? As I said, the technology's there. Let's you might as well use it while you've got it. Uh, this R6 is pretty bloody smart camera. Most of the other new mirrorless Canon cameras out there, and I'm sure whatever brand you've got, they've got a similar feature. 
that you'll be able to use. You get to come out and check out this beautiful, beautiful countryside and go and take some photos because that's what it's all about. And I love the fact that it's handheld, you can do it as well. It's not, you have to lock it onto a tripod to get focus. I can come out with the IBIS in the camera, in the R6, I can get a really nice shot and focus stack it. How cool is that? Anyway, thanks for stopping by the video. We, uh, we are done and dusted now. And uh, yeah, well that's us. Thanks for stopping by and checking out this video. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. Join the team, come past, uh, go check out the websites for merch and gear, and uh, me and the R6 will see you next week in the next video. Okay, see you then. Peace.